Here's how to save countless hours preloading your social media, including Instagram. So first, I'm going to use this website called Later.com. This is not the only website that does this. There are others such as Sendable. They are also totally fine. Uh, this is the one that we do use and we have used and we know that it works. So I'm going to do a tutorial about Later.com. So when we open it up, uh, this is what you'll see on the right. You have our calendar. I recommend going to the month view just so you can see what's coming up and what's already been posted. In the middle, you have our uploaded media. Uh, you can upload more media here. And on the left, you have some other options like uh, analytics, uh, LinkedIn, which we'll get into later. And at the bottom left, we have our social profiles. With later, you pay per social profile. You don't pay for Instagram, Facebook separately. You pay for one group. So if I'm going to use this Easy ESL Games profile here, uh, I'm going to choose the right one so we don't post to the wrong business. At the top here, we have this plus sign. Here we can add our other social profiles. Currently, in June 2021, later can do Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, TikTok, and LinkedIn. Uh, that might change, of course. So I'm going to go to one of our other profiles and you can see that these ones that you can clearly see, those are the ones that have yet to post, but the ones that are kind of uh, have like a white sheen on them, those are the ones that have already been posted. So this shows how much we've been using later. So I'm going to be using Easy ESL Games as an example and I'll start using Instagram because that has most of the, uh, the functions that we want to be using. If you would like to upload a story, you can do it here. Then we can go to just drag whichever media you want onto whatever day you want. And from here, we can change a bunch of stuff. So this is a very short video. It's like five seconds long. This is the end screen from the video you're currently watching. I just uploaded it as an example. Here you can do some small things. You can crop it, essentially. Uh, you can make it a little bit shorter if you want. I'm just going to crop it. And select the cover. So the cover is when someone visits your profile and they can see like a thumb, it's basically a thumbnail. I don't want the beginning of it because that doesn't show what I want. I'm gonna go here and this just tells you that if you'd like to see more videos, you can go to adronin.com slash blog. I'm gonna update that cover. At the top here, you can choose when it's gonna publish. Auto publish means it will automatically publish. It'll send you a notification, but you can just relax and it'll do it by itself. If there's a problem, then it will also tell you that it has not published so that's quite useful if you change the send notification then it will just send you a notification and then you can use the app on your phone to publish it it'll open up Instagram and it'll take you through like three or four steps it takes about 20 seconds to do it here you can also change the date uh, please bear in mind that it is time zone specific so you can change which time zone you're in down the settings in the bottom left uh, post caption here you can write your caption. Caption. With Instagram, of course, you need some hashtags. One useful thing on later is you have the hashtag suggestions. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, what color should I put? Banana. And my topic is bananas, and it'll give me some hashtag suggestions for bananas. You just click on the check, insert, and there they are. Done. If you think that these hashtags are so good that you want to use them again, go to saved captions just below. Copy current text as saved caption. Give it a title. Captions. <laughs> and I want to edit this slightly. Save it. And now anytime I want to add those to any future post, I can just click that button and it will automatically appear or use any other ones that I've already saved. Okay, next, done. We can add the first comment if you'd like. You can add a link in bio, which I'll come to in a second. We can also add a location. So if I put in New York, so you can put anywhere on earth. I am not in New York right now. And I will choose New York Comic Con and tag a, people if, tag a person if you'd like and then save. So this link in bio, this is something you may be interested in. Basically, it means that when someone visits your Instagram page and goes to the profile, you have your website link in the profile. 
you can change this so that it becomes like an extra page like this where each post becomes clickable and can go to a website of your choice or a web page of your choice. To set this up, we need to go to link in bio on the left here and we can go set up. You can customize the page slightly here. This one is just information. And this link here will become your new kind of URL within Instagram. So I'm going to click the copy. And then within Instagram, I'm going to go to my profile. Oh, sorry. Edit profile. Then website, we're just going to change to here. And it is almost done. If I would like someone to go to, I don't know, let's just choose this page here. I'm going to copy this. Finish. Now, these are all the posts I've done. I can click on any of these and I can add a link in bio to it. Now, if anyone clicks on this post after going through the profile, then they will be taken to that new website, the new web page I just input in right then. Okay, you can also add it in here if you need. And we save, and that's done. Now, I don't want to go through all that again for Facebook or LinkedIn or all the others. So what I'll do is I will just save the caption. I don't want to save the hashtags because hashtags look awful on Facebook. And at the top here, now you got to be very careful here because they kind of there's not a huge visual difference between the two. I'm going to choose Facebook. And on my uploaded media, you can see there's a one here. That one means it's been used in one post. So if I'm going to drag it to whichever day I want, I'm going to post the caption, change the time, save, and that's done. And you see now that is being used in two, two posts. And that is basically how you save countless hours by preloading weeks or even months worth of social media ahead of time. Uh, if you'd like more tutorials like this, go to adronin slash blog and good luck in your posting.